How's the body feel? Good. That was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking back at your performance, what, what do you take away from it, positive, negative, all that? I feel like the biggest thing is just, um, just keep my head high and having poise in high-pressure situations, high-adverse um, situations, and just um, just knowing my confidence never wavered at any time during the game. Um, obviously, things to just look back and improve on. Um, <clears throat> we're had some missed throws here and there, um, clean up some some footwork, um, but ultimately it was a um, a pretty com complete game offensively for us. And, and DJ did a great job. Those guys up front did a great job. So uh, we had a lot of a lot of our big time players step up Saturday. So I was thankful to thankful for those guys to make my job easier. How important is that bond you have with Jace? Uh, I think it's it's really important, and it just continues to show each week and with somebody that you have as well as chemistry as me and Jace do off the field, um, it just translates and is used for a positive on when Saturdays come around. Well, what's impressed you most about Daquan and then especially what he was able to do while you were getting getting patched up? I feel like the biggest thing is it really didn't come to it as a surprise to me. Um, I see the work he puts in every day at practice and, and what he does inside this facility. So just going out there and um, seeing all his hard work kind of come to fruition, it, might have surprised some people, but everybody in this facility knows what he's capable of, and um, we had full confidence in him. So just really grateful to have a, a guy like that that pushed me every every week. Can you walk us through what it was like to have to leave the game for a minute and then kind of frantically try to get back out there? It was, it was kind of weird. Just I've never been in that situation before. Um, ultimately, just wanted to get back on the on the field with my guys and um, was able to get to that point. So I uh, was really just, just grateful. Um, to, to get back out there and, and finish the game, put on a full performance. Where is your confidence level with Jace right now at receiver? Um, it's through the roof, and I think he's one of the best receivers in, in this league, and um, he's going to continue to grow each week in and week out. And there's nobody um, he's scared of to line up against. So that's just Jace's biggest thing. His confidence is through the roof, and um, he's, he shows that he can be a big time, big time player for us week in and week out. So he's got to continue to. Get, get situations to get him the ball more. And it just kind of from the outside, it seemed like watching you guys celebrate that game meant a little extra to you. Was there any reason outside the normal that you guys were motivated to win that one? Um, not necessarily. It was just a, a big time game. And there was, you know, they have a lot of celebrities there and it's a big time atmosphere. Um, and there's a lot of hype around around that school. So it just, I wouldn't say it meant more. We pre prepared at it or looked at it um, any different type of way, but it was definitely it's definitely good to get that first um, league win on the road, especially in in a hostile environment like Colorado. And it was a big win. So, what's the mindset of the team right now going forward? Um, next play mindset, you know, never too high, never too low. Always got to stay neutral, and um, regardless of coming off a win or coming off a loss, we want to attack the the next team the same. Um, ultimately, or just you know, trying to get, get our um, heads wrapped around uh, West Virginia and, and what we're going to do um, to scheme them up coming up this upcoming week. And what's in the past is in the past. We just got to continue to treat it like a one-week season. The way the Big 12 is, you know, you played BYU in a different time zone, Colorado in a different time zone. Now you're going to West Virginia, and that's a different time zone. Do you become accustomed to this in any, any shape or form, or are you just still kind of getting used to everything? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, and whenever you go to BYU or Colorado, um, it honestly feels like you're sleeping in a little bit longer, but then you get home a little bit later. So to be kind of the opposite, going to the West Virginia and going to that that way in that different time zone, but ultimately, like our coaches and and support staff put together a good plan for us to make sure our bodies are um, as fresh as can be and that we're woke up and ready to play. And they they take all the players' feedback into consideration to, you know, what, what do we need to do better um, and, and different types of stuff like that so that we can go out and play our best football come Saturday. We're at about the midway point, or I think officially the midway point of the year. Uh, from week one to now, what do you feel like you've improved the most at, uh, you know, on the field? Um, just developing each game as a passer and becoming more comfortable in that, um, starting to anticipate windows and – being a lot more comfortable and, and confident in what I can do with my arm and um, just letting, you know, the runs and, and stuff come to me as the game goes on 
and not being um, so one dimensional. So it's continuing to, to grow and clean my feet up each and every week because ultimately most of my misses come from the lower half down and just trying to find each way to simulate some game time, game time reps and practice so that I can go out there and nothing, you know, surprises me um, on the field. How do you feel like this team has improved from beginning to now? We've improved greatly, and I think it's just our chemistry and, and trust in, in one another. And everybody's not trying to do too much. You know, they're just trying to do their role and not trying to put the weight of the world on their shoulders and continuing to just go out and trust, trust your brother to your right and your left and, you know, play play our game because whenever we play together as a team, um, we're a hard team to beat and um, one that, you know, other teams uh, should be nervous to match up against. Footwork. Is there anything that you're noticing that needs to get cleaned up in particular? Or is it just a generalized? Just uh, just some slight like pocket movement stuff, and we work on it all the time at practice, and just so that it becomes natural and engraved in my brain. But it's hard to simulate live game reps, and all we can do now is just you know kind of take what we see on, on film and, and try to replicate it to the best of our ability, and continue to grow in, in that aspect of my game. When you're in a position like you were at the end of the game or in the second half on Saturday where you're banged up and, and running just isn't an option for you, does that kind of help mindset-wise with, with, with passing the ball, knowing it's like, hey, I gotta, this, this, I got to make this play because I can't. I, I'm not going to be able to scramble out of it. How does, how does that work when, when running is just not an option? Um. I don't really know how to answer that. I would say, I mean, yes, in a way. Um, but ultimately, I wouldn't look at it any different than a normal scenario. Um, I, don't, I don't know.